Well, the clinic was uh, well participated, uh, and again, um, fewer numbers in the, in the morning, which allowed us to give a little bit more individual attention. Uh, the kids did extremely well, uh, two and a half hours, tried to uh, cram in as much information as possible uh, with a little training session to evaluate their ability. Uh, then we do a little small sided just to see their tactical awareness. Then uh, we go over about a 10 minute, 15 minute little presentation on the college recruiting process and then we let them play. So it was, uh, it, it gave them a lot of information, uh, gave them a lot of information about how to go about the process, how to act on the field and, and, and showcases uh, like they're participating in this weekend and uh, just to give them a little sort of a, a pep talk to, to get them ready to play and, and hopefully put their best foot forward in front of all these college coaches. First of all, the game, our game is getting more and more athletic. You see college teams play and um, very uh, few of them have uh, less than six or seven players out on the field, 6-1 and 6-2 and, uh, and above. And, uh, so you're trying to find a blend of athleticism along with the, you know, skill and, and players that have that, then can they you know, make the you know, necessary decisions to play at the speed that the Division I game is played at. So you're looking for, you're looking for potential, you're looking for players that, that have that potential to, to bring a little size to your program. Uh, and, and, and obviously you're also looking for, for players that you know, can be playmakers and those players are easy to identify but it's those players that, that you're looking for to see what their potential uh, both physically, mentally you know, and, and tactically and that's what you're you know, looking to see what they can do in, 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 in good games, good games under pressure uh, and like I said how they handle themselves, how they carry themselves and how they make decisions you know, that are important in a game. Uh, that, that, that's necessary, you know, it makes a difference between winning and losing. Well, I mean, that's why they're, that's why they're all here. Um, one of the things that I tried to uh, be specific with the players today in, in that, you know, no player is going to make it on one play that he makes or, or, or you know, whether it's, it's good or bad. Um, it's, it's trying to get consistency uh, over a period of time. So a player uh, piques your interest, you'll go back and look at him again and again. Um, player makes a mistake that you've, that you've seen before, you know, maybe you'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But, uh, you know, you're, you're looking for kids basically to see how strong the team is that they're, 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 they're playing on, how strong the opponent is, and, and really, you know, what, what, what sort of um, skills and, and, and assets that they will bring to your team, and, and particularly, you know, how quickly those can develop. Um, you know, some may have to come in and redshirt and, and, and get stronger. Some can come in right away and contribute. But uh, you, you just you, you see the whole gamut here of, of players that that basically have um, have not maybe been identified, but yet have just gotten better and better and better. And this is their time to shine. Um, and then uh, you hope that the competition uh, will bring that out in, in, in the games that uh, they'll play this weekend. I you know, was very happy to join the Old Dominion staff uh, this year. Uh, extremely young squad. We had um, at one time the five freshmen and three sophomores uh, playing. We started off extremely well with uh, a couple of big wins. Uh, one especially against North Carolina. We were ranked as, as high as 11th in the RPI. Um, our conference from top to bottom was extremely difficult, um, where no game was, uh, was, was easy. Uh, we, we stumbled a little bit through uh, the conference tournament but had done enough to receive an NCAA bid, uh, an at-large bid. So we were able to uh, get that bid, go on the road and uh, knock off the defending national champions, Virginia, uh, and then uh, off to Penn State where we uh, ran out a, a little bit of steam in the second half and uh, lost 4-1. to one. But a great, a great season for a young team and uh, I was just happy to, to, to be a part of uh, what's a very good program a program that is, is definitely on the rise and um, ready to, to make some noise in college soccer.